Hello, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. I've got a very exciting lens for you today. It is the fastest Leica production lens, the Leica Noctilux M 50mm f0.95 spherical. Let's take a look. Now this lens is not new to me. I was teaching a workshop in London back in April 2014 and one of my students kindly brought the lens along and let me test it. And then only last week I had another photographer visit me from New York for another workshop. And he also had the Leica Noctilux 50 0 0.95 on his Leica M11. And during the workshop, he kindly let me test the lens and I was using it on the Leica SL. So this video will share my thoughts on the lens. I'll show example photos using the old Leica M9 and also the more recent Leica SL camera. And I'll also talk about alternatives if you don't have £13,000 to spend on your next lens. Let's jump in. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. Before we look at the lens, I just wanted to share the results from the recent poll I did on YouTube with regards to how long have you been using your Leica camera. I get a lot of questions from new users, but also maybe experienced users as to various Leica related topics. So I've set up a page called the Leica Club and all you need to do is click the first link in the description below, enter your email, the few details you see on the screen. The main thing is what camera that you're using because then you'll get the, the right starter pack for the camera that you use. Press the green button and you'll get a link and hopefully that'll answer most of your questions. Hope you find it useful. Let's get back to the lens. So yes, back from more workshops in London. And again, a massive thank you to my awesome students who join me. Uh, thank you, Jose, for letting me test your amazing Leica Noctilux 50 0 0.95 lens. Jose is also one of my awesome patrons. I think we've got 180-ish at the moment. Thanks so much. It really helps support the channel and allows me to do these videos for you guys. So Jose joined me for workshops to learn about model photography. He already knew how to take nice pictures with his Leica camera, but I had less experience in model photography in particular. So he brought with them two portrait lenses, the 50 0 0.95 that we're looking at in this video and the 90mm f 1.5 Simulux. You may have already seen it. If you're using the Leica Noctilux lens with a Leica M camera, highly recommend to upgrade to your camera. A Leica M camera grip of some description. There's lots of different versions. Some are made by Leica, some are made by third parties. That will help you balance a fat heavy lens much better on an M camera, number one. And number two, an EVF. Having an electronic viewfinder really will help you focus these very fast shallow depths of field lenses when shooting them wide open. I'll give you some more spec details about the Leica Nuxlux if you're interested in purchasing one. Close focus distance of one meter, which I find a bit limiting because I prefer lenses like the Leica Sumlux, which focuses at 0.7 meters for my portraits. But that's only a limitation if using it on M cameras, because if you use it on a like SL series camera, you can use a close focus adapter such as those by Seven Artisans. The optical formula is eight elements in five groups and it has a 60 mil front filter size. This is actually a bad thing because it's the same filter size as on my F1 Noctilux. And filters are not cheap in the 60 mil size because it's not a popular size. If you buy, say, an ND filter for the Noctilux, it's going to set you back around $90 just for the ND filter. So if you're using M cameras, again, you probably will need to get an ND filter if you plan to use this lens shot wide open because you don't have the electronic shutter to give you a fast enough shutter speed to allow you to dim the daylight enough to use the lens wide open at 0 0.95 but if you use it like an SL series it's really easy because you've got the electronic shutter that just goes to 16 thousandths of a second and so you never need an ND filter with the SL and a Noctilux lens because you use a combination of ISO 50 16 thousandths of a second if needed and then shoot it wide open at 0 0.95. The Noctilux lens is kind of a short fat lens, so it does give you viewfinder blockage and it weighs around 700 grams or 1.5 pounds. Let's now have a look at some sample photos. Okay, these are just a, from a small part in the day, maybe 10 minutes of using the lens. So first color raw files from the Leica SL and then the black and white ones are raw plus Mr. Leica, Leica SL black and white preset applied. You can see the nice colors and the fast aperture melts the background although you do get flare as you can see in some of those shots it is easy to miss focus if the model moves and you can see how shallow the depth of field is with the focus on jose and then the everything else blurring away okay here's the second model and you can see the bokeh and again the flare but also how sharp and contrasted the lens is when there's no flare across the lens it is a very sharp and contrasty lens a bit like the 
91.5 that I reviewed in the last video. This photo shows the bokeh characteristics and if you want to get into model photography there's a link below to my free model photography guide and hopefully that will get you started. Okay so those are the pictures. If someone asked me to describe the rendering for the Noctilux 0.95 I always think of it very similar to the like a Simulux M50 1.4. If you need a lens which is sharp enough to use for client work at 0.95 the only option is the Leica Noctilux 50.0.95 as shown in this video. So it depends how often you need to shoot the lens wide open to make use of that shallow depth of field and that unique look that you get from shooting the lens wide open. Leica Noctilux lenses are obviously not cheap. I did have a quick look for this video. Used, I found one on MBP for around £6,000. If you buy from MBP, there is a code on the mrleica.com blog which will save you a few extra pounds. And if you want to buy new, you can find the lens on BH for $13,000. Now, there are cheaper alternatives for fast lenses for like M out cameras, but they've all got slightly different quirks. So, option number one, the cheapest option, you could get the TT Artisan 50 0.95. Same aperture and considerably cheaper. You can buy that lens new for $755 on BH, and I think it's even cheaper on Pergear. If I can find a link, I'll put the link below. I regard the TT Artisan lens the same as the Noctilux 50 f1 older lens. Both of those lenses are imperfect. Both of those lenses give much more creative looking images. If you want something more perfect like the Noctilux 0.95, I'd recommend getting the Voigtlander Nocturne 50 f1. Again, that is considerably cheaper than the Leica version, costing only $1,800. I know only. Obviously, that's a lot of money, but compared to the Leica, that's a... That's quite a bargain. The difference between the Nocturne 50 f1 and the Leica 0.95. The 0.95 is perfectly sharp and usable at 0.95, where the f1 is probably better shot at 1.2 or f1.4. Did you think I'd forgotten? These are the results using the lens on the Leica M9. Now the big thing I didn't show or say in the first lot of photos is there's very little vignetting on the 0.95 and very heavy vignetting on the f1.0. I'll include some f1 shots in a second for comparison. This is Katie who I used to teach with and these are from the 2014 workshop. Really great model. I need to ask her to come out and shoot again. The 50 f1 Noctilux video is linked at the end but just see the corners here. This is with the f1 and look how dark the corners are compared to 0.95. This is the biggest difference. Or one of. <laughs> if you'd like to see example photos shot with the Leica Noctilux 50 f1, the TT Artisan 50 0.95 and the Voigtlander Nocturne 50 f1 and 1.2 actually, I'll link my 50 more playlist next and you can see those videos here.